All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 146. All right. So if we play the game in its current state, we might notice a bug. If our XP is high enough, the get monster attack value function will return a negative number, which will actually add to our total health when fighting a monster. All right. So we can fix this issue by using a ternary operator to ensure negative values are not returned. All right. So let's go check that out before we go further. All right. So let's uh, make XP equal 100 right here. All right. So we start off with 100 XP. Whoops. And then we'll go fight the slime. All right. So let's go to the cave, fight the slime, attack the slime. <laughs> We've got 142 health. It's better than going to the doctor, isn't it? Uh, just go fight a slime. You get your health back. Right. Uh, anyway, so for this one, the reason for that is because uh, check this out. So right now. We've got uh, get monster attack value. We've got health minus equals get monster attack value at monsters at fighting dot level, right? So we've got the mon get monster attack value, uh, what is it, uh, function right here, right? So we see th if the level, the level of the slime, we know is level two to start off with. So two times five is going to be 10. So it's going to be 10 minus a math dot floor dot math dot rant. The pardon me, a math dot floor of the math dot random times the XP and the XP is 100 right here. You see, so let's say uh, math dot random returns like a 0.5, right? So it's going to say minus, so it's going to be uh, 10 minus 50, right? Because 0.5 times 100 is 50, right? Of course, uh, and so hit's going to equal minus. 40, right? Because 10 minus 50 is 40, right? So is negative 40, right? So up here we do health minus equals minus 40. So a my mi so minusing a minus minusing a negative value, subtracting a negative value equals a positive value, right? It's going to go up. So that's what happened right here. Uh, the hit was whatever, you know, it was it was 42. It was minus 42, so it gave us 42 health right there. So, yeah, that's not going to work. I mean, it'll work if we <laughs> never go to the doctor again. Just kill, kill some slimes in this world, but not in this code, right? So what we're going to do here is uh, use the ternary operator, all right? Did I already say that? Yeah. So I don't know, remember what I said, but anyway, uh, we can fix this issue by using a ternary operator to ensure negative values are not returned, all right? Uh, and the ternary operator is a conditional operator that can be used as a one line if else statement. And the syntax is condition question mark expression if true colon expression if false. All right. So let's come up here to the MDM page and check this out because this is a pretty important page. I uh, when I in my Code Wars videos, I go to this one a lot. All right. At least on the uh, beginning uh, lessons or the beginning kata or whatever. Anyway, so. For this one, uh, the conditional or ternary operator is the only JavaScript operator that takes three operands. A condition followed by a question mark. So this thing right here is member true. That's what this is saying right here. Or it would say is member over a 50 or whatever. Uh, and then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy followed by a colon. So if it's true, return $2, right? And that's what this return is, is return $2. Uh, and then finally, a condition, pardon me, finally, the expression to execute if the condition is falsy. So if it's false, return $10, right? The operator is frequently used as an alternative to if else statements, all right? So that's exactly what this is saying here. So here's an example of returning a value using an if else statement and a refractored, pardon me, and a refactored example using a ternary operator, all right? So we've got if num is greater than five, we're going to return num is greater than five, right? This this string here. Else we're going to return this string here saying that it's less than or equal to five, right? So we can cut out this and this and all this and this and these and all these shifts we got to push. If we just say return, if is num greater than five, question mark. If so, return this string. If not, return this string, right? And that's basically how that works. So in get monster attack value, we're going to change return hit 
to a ternary operator, pardon me, a ternary operator that returns hit if hit is greater than zero or returns zero if it's not. All right. That way it won't do any minus, uh, minus 42. All right. So let's do that right here on return. And so we've already got the return hit. So is hit greater than zero? Is it? If so, return hit. If not, return zero. And that's all it takes. We don't have to write all this stuff right here, all this if and the parentheses and the returns and the else. We just have return one time. And then this stuff right here, three different, we just have to push shift here, push shift here and push shift here. And that's it. That's it, honestly. Uh, so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 147 and we'll see you next time.